Crazy Pixel. <laughs> I don't find myself dusting off my PlayStation VR unit too often, but one look at the Amada KK developed Last Labyrinth had me eager to uncover its mysteries. I went into the game with very little knowledge and I think that's the best way to experience it. If that's enough for you to play it, then I suggest you stop watching this video and do so. However, for those who need a bit more convincing, here's my review for what I believe is the best VR game of 2019. Like most puzzle games, the narrative of Last Labyrinth is told through unconventional means. Throughout the game, you begin to piece together the events and how everything is connected, but it does take an open mind. Oftentimes, I believe I had an understanding of what was going on, but then the story threw a slight curveball at me. Basically, it's all up to interpretation, but you should have a small grasp on how this mess started. Players assume the role of a wheelchair-bound person in handcuffs. Although you can't speak, you have a laser pointer tool in your hand. This is used to point at things which wouldn't be very helpful if you were alone. Luckily for you, a young girl named Katya is with you. By using the pointer, it's possible to guide her through different rooms and whatever lies ahead. Strangely enough, I should mention that you and Katya will die many times on your adventure. <laughs> But I'm getting ahead of myself. You wake up in a room and you're locked in until you can solve a puzzle. I feel that the first ending of the game is a total facade for what lies ahead as the puzzles begin easy and straightforward to the point of feeling almost too casual. However, that all changes once you enter the second part. Upon entering a room, the door is locked behind you and you're faced with a room full of interactable objects and not a clue in sight. The lack of direction is a part of the game's overall appeal. I mean, I'm supposed to feel disoriented in this adventure and that's exactly how I feel. In the event that you succeed, you are greeted with a nice cutscene on a cliff with Katya. However, if you die, well, then you have to watch Katya die right before you join her. These death scenes are gruesome and intimidating. You don't want to lose a puzzle because you don't want to have to deal with watching someone you care about die. Puzzles become painfully difficult the further you get in the story. While there is a large variety of them, I was often stuck trying to decipher the cryptic clues placed in the rooms. Katya doesn't really help in this regard as she waits patiently for you to figure it out and tell her what to do. While puzzle designs are challenging, the environments and set pieces created in this world are amazing. The clever ways the developers took classic puzzle elements elements and tied them to the theme of death was brilliant to experience. Katya's movements and reaction time were fast and never frustrating as she navigates through some pretty complex rooms. The sound design also gets it right with pleasant remarks from Katya along with her screams as she meets her end. <laughs> Last Labyrinth does some amazing things with VR. The way it tells a story through themes of death had me eager to press on through this nightmare. The developers took a chance on bringing players through some dark themes, and I was hooked for the entire journey. Noisy Pixel is giving Last Labyrinth an 8.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.